Wow! It's another happy Sunday to eat good food. And guess what? Ang gamit ko ay itong isang Bookie app na pang lifestyle and para makahanap ng the best places to eat. At ito rin ang hahanap ng pinakamagandang makakainan para makilala natin ang inspirasyon behind this very successful Bookie app. Gusto nyong malaman kung sino siya? Siyang interview ko ngayon. Tara na! Nandun siya. Yay! I'm here! Oh, hi. hi! Hello! Isa, ang tagal na kitang hinahabol. Ha? <laughs> Excuse me, alam mo yan, ha? Hi! Ang oh. tagal ko na rin hinintay itong ating pag-uusap. Oo nga, parang strict ang parent. Ayaw payaga ng asawa o ng anak. May bago na ngayon sa buhay ni Isa, kaya kailangan ma-interview natin siya ulit. I've been wanting to catch up at maraming revelations kaming nalaman tungkol sa kanya na iisa-isahin natin good food and good life story for today on Korea Interviews! Bakit ngayon ka lang nagpapa-interview ulit? I don't know because... Ewan ko, nung pagkapanganak ko talaga ito ka-step back. Two months nga akong wala sa social media. Kasi ang sarap lang din, dahil ang hirap na nga ng bagong reality, di ba? Ng bagong panganak ka. Kung sinamahan ko pa yun na lagi akong natingin sa social media, baka hindi ko kinaya. So at least, alam ko na for two months, binigay ko dun sa anak ko yung attention ko. Kasi mabilis akong ano eh, mama-distract. Ay, ay, oh, yung kumaga, oh. syempre, may kausap ka, may ganito, may ka-chat ka, titingin ka sa feed mo. So, pwede kang, I can get lost in that. So, sabi ko, dun na lang ako malul... I'll get lost in my, my, ano, my baby's love and oh, arms, nice. diba? Parang dun na lang. Oh, nice. Yung bonding talaga. Oh, oh. Feeling ko, ang ganda kasi, to sit down nang mas may alam na ako kasi I'm sure everybody has the same question. How's motherhood? Alright. And you know what? In, in the beginning, I was really just learning everything, di ba? Ang hirap pang sumagot ng kumusta nga ba? Kumusta, kumusta nga ba ako? Oo, oh, oh, diba? teka muna. Mamaya niya sasagutin yan. Hold your horses! Sandali lang. That's for later. Yeah. Isa as a mother. O, dito muna tayo. Bakit ang ganda-ganda niya? O, magsimula tayo kung ano, uh, sino ang nanay at tatay. Ang ganda ng kombinasyon, eh. <laughs> diba? So, ang kilala ko lang, yung aking idol dati, The Sensations ba? O, yes. The Sen... O, oh, kita mo na, alala ko pa. The Sensations. Uh, Lito Calzado. Yan. Yes. Ang mga kasama niya, Vilma Santos. Yes. Diba? And um, he is your father. Yes. He was a... Uh, uh, director, choreographer, and an artista din siya. Yes, correct. So how was it like growing up na nakikita mo ang showbiz? Good question. Uh, so totoo lang, ang, yan ang dream ko. Kasi that's what I was exposed to eh. I, and I did a little bit of it. Tatay Alquin pa ang director ko, parang Alam mo, IBC 13 pa noon, yung mga... Um, Ilan taon ka lang noon? Six or seven. Six or seven. Oo, tapos Sinasama na, ka talaga ni Lito sa... sa... Sa mga kanyang shows. So, pero ito, nag-on-cam ako. Tapos, nakapagdalawang pelikula ako doon. 
um, one of which was directed by Direct Lino Broca. So, naalala ko, nag-audition nag ako for him. Wow! Grabe, Seiko Films. Wow! <laughs> so, alam na natin ang tatay niya. Uh -uh. Who's the mother? She's actually Canadian. Canadian? Irish, Canadian, and Spanish, and Filipina. Bicolana. Ang nanay ko, born and bred in Bicol. So, meaning nagbibicolana siya na salita? Yes, kadikit ako. Nak naka, oh, ano ba, naka I forgot the term, but oh, oh I, yeah, okay. she, in, she's really from there. She but, spoke oh. Spanish, Japanese, and um, Tagalog, English, and Bicolan. Bakit siya linguist? She really loved languages, and then she and my dad worked in Japan, so oh. may entertainment agency kasi kami dati. Right, I see. So was she also dancing? No. Ah, no. She had two left feet. Ah, okay. Um, oh. But, uh, because my my dad would send the entertainers also, so sila talaga lage. She studied the language. Oh. She really loved. Ah, that. mahilig talaga yeah. siya. So what pinanganak ka sa Bicol? Hindi si Mama lang. Ah, Ako sa Manila. Manila na. Si Daddy's from Quiapo, mm -hmm. but the roots are from Samar and Chinese din si Daddy. So yan ang mix ni Daddy. Oh oh. Yun lang nga, mukha nga siyang Chinese. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mukha yes. siyang Chinese. So ito palang itsura ng Chinese, Filipino, Canadian, ang Irish, and Irish Spanish. and Spanish. Wow. Sabi nga nila, the young Hilda Coronel, they always tell you that, right? When, from the very beginning. From the yes. very beginning, oo. Oh, oh. Pero siyempre kanya-kanya. Honored, honored, honored. Oo, oh, kanya-kanyang beauty yan. So, uh, showbiz childhood, and then was was really into showbiz already. But now, from the then after that, it was short-lived. Oh, oh, oh. Tapos, after nun, parang siguro, eh, lumalaki ako, and then things were not so good at home, nawala ng confidence. So, lagi lang ako kasama dati ni Daddy sa GMA Super Show, that's entertainment. Panunood lang ako dun. Mag-isa ka lang ba? Do you have siblings? I have an older brother, 10 years my senior. So, lumaki, nung lumalaki ako, hanggang mga 4 or 5 years old, sa Canada siya nag-aaral. Mm -hmm. And then, nung pagbalik niya dito, sandali lang siya sa bahay, tapos doon na siya sa office namin tumira. Right, right. Um, nandun siya, pero, parang yan, yeah, ano na, malaki na kasi siya. Oh, so, parang technically, parang ako parang lang Parang mag-isa ka lang. Okay. I just wanna talk a little about this kasi marami talaga sa atin, kung hindi lahat, hindi naman perfect ang childhood. Of course. Right? Oh. So, nag-aaway ang mga magulang natin. And then, ngayon, nabago tayong mga magulang. Naku, kasama mo pa ako dyan. Sorry po, a latecomer ako. Ako hindi, din. Hindi kami magkaedad. <laughs> latecomer lang ako talaga. When you say it wasn't a perfect um, childhood, what exactly was that? You don't have to go into details, pero ano yung away ng magulang? Ganon? Yes. Of course, kasama na doon ang away ng magulang. At nung grade 2 ako, or 3, sorry. Grade 3, I think they formally separated. Oh. My mom moved to the States. I think grade 3, grade 4 ako. Ano yung effect sa'yo nung naalala mo pa? But, but, oh, naman. Pero before that pa, my mom battled uh, mental health issues. Oh. So, um, bata pa lang ako, meron ng ganong tension. And then she lost, I, we lost her third child, my brother, who was 17 days old in 1988. I think that was kind of like the final straw. And then after that, I think it wasn't a good time, and maybe the tension was just there, you know, the family. So, kaya, kaya grade two onwards, yun ay nag-stop na din ako mag-ballet, mag-artista, um, mm. palaki ako ng palaki. There were a lot of things going on in, in the house, and some of which, hindi ko na ikikwento. Grabe, ba? Isa, ha? Ang dami nun. Mm. That was a lot, mm. no? That was a lot. Mm. And, um, well, you know, ngayon, na po process mo na. Yes. Honestly, itong mga ganito nangyayari sa maraming pamilya. Na, at mas malala pa. Kaya when I talk about it, parang hindi ako coming from a victim mindset na uh -oh. kasi ganito yung... Hindi. Sadyang ganun ang nangyari. Uh -oh. Ang tinitignan ko eh, pinatibay din naman ako ng mga pagkakataong yun at ng panahon. Uh, Siyempre, masakit lalo na nung bata ako. Ah... Uh, Ang hirap intindihin bakit ganito yung buhay namin, bakit ganito. Alam mo yun, parang we lived in a community, kilala yung nanay mo na ganito, difficult, you know, a lot of these things. Hindi ko siya maintindihan. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, hindi din niya alam paano ba ipaliwanag sa akin ng maayos. She tried her best, but it was a different time na yun. Kasi when we talk about mental health, maraming resources, maraming awareness, maraming support group. 
But even with this, di ba? Here pa rin lahat talaga kahit tayo parang it's hard to understand what this unique individual is going through when we are never in that person's shoes. All right. So, okay. it takes a lot of compassion and empathy. Uh, and understanding. And understanding. Kasi dati, akala mo lang, no, karet, or Hindi. nasisiraan ng bait, or wala lang, Con mahirap lang pakisamahan, Correct. pero yung pala mayroong kondisyon. Oo. Oh, oh, Ngayon, right. alam na natin yan. Yes. May mm -hmm. pinagdadaanan, may kondisyon, combination ng mga bagay-bagay. Chemical imbalances. Exactly. Which oh, is oh. eventually what my mother was diagnosed with. Siya, right. Bipolar. Oh. So, in, mahirap siyang intindihin pag bata ka. Kasi feeling mo lang, you have all these labels for the one going through it. Right. Um, but yun, so yun yung kinalakihan kong environment. And in hindsight, ngayon na, uh, syempre, uh, fully aware ka na as a woman. And a mother. And a mother, looking back, when you were in grade 5, yun ang nakikita mo talagang malinaw na sa'yo na dahilan kung bakit tumigil ka ng pag-aartista, pagbabale. Yeah. Tapos tumaba ka tumaba. na tumaba, yes. oo, oh, oh, dahil kain ka na kain. Food became my friend. So from grade 2 onwards, parang naging ganun yung, I guess, buhay ko. At masarap din kasi kumain. Daddy ko, ang hilig din talaga kumain. At si Daddy masiyahin na. It was not coming from a masama ang loob niya. It was coming from a, I think, kay Daddy, ang pagkain. Dahil he didn't have enough of it growing up. You know, he was a sampagita vendor. He was doing, you know, he was from the streets. So, parang from humble beginnings, I think his love language was to provide us with good food. Ah, oo. Oh, and to enjoy oh. it. Yan ang bonding moment. Yung bonding yun. talaga. Midnight snack. Akala ko normal. Lahat ng may midnight snack. Hindi pala. Ano ba midnight snack nyo? Kare-kare. Hindi. <laughs> pizza. Yung, <laughs> <laughs> so, parang 10pm, oh. order na ba lang yung pizza. So, sabi niya, pizza oh, na anak. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero, diba, it was really coming from a place of love. Right. Oh, um, oh. And nasobrahan. <laughs> nasobrahan ng love. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, ito na ngayon. So, grade 5. Teka mo I'm trying to remember grade 5. Medyo banidosa ka na rin nun, ha? At saka medyo umaaligid na rin ang mga boys. Wala diba? na naaligid sa... Walang naaligid sa'yo. Mga panahon na ngayon, eh. Ngayon, eh. Pumipila sila. Sorry na lang. Tapos ng boxing. <laughs> Hindi ba? Pero, you were bullied when you were younger. Yes, pero hindi intensely. At sa school, hindi naman gaano. Mm -hmm. I would say I was bullied. Perhaps I also bullied others. I mean, sa katotohanan lang ng buhay, di ba? Hindi ako magpapaka-victim dito na... <laughs> pero syempre, I was teased a lot. Especially by boys. Oh. Yun yung pinakamasakit eh. Siguro dahil gusto mo, crush ka nila. Hindi, pinagtitripan ka nila. Ito, oh. Oy, pero ano ha, kahit mataba ka nun, ang maganda pa rin ang mukha mo, ha? Hindi ko nakita yun eh. <laughs> Oh. Hindi ko alam yun. So, ang ano ko lang yung mataba ako. Mm -hmm. Pero lagi ako nakangiti. So, alam ko, cute ako. Yung kaibigan ako ng lahat. Pero shocked ako ha, um, Isa. How many pounds? A hundred that I lost from the time I was fourth, third year high school. Okay. To, well, I don't know now. Umabot, ng, umabot ng ganun ka. Oo, taas. more than a hundred. Basta 42 yung... Ano, yung jeans ko, oh, oh. mas malaki pa kay daddy at some point. Really? Grabe. And at that time, um, ano yung sinasabi mo sa sarili mo? Tanggap mo yung sarili mong gano'n na sobra kang taba as a teenager? Uh, alam mo, good question, thank you ah. Uh, nung umpisa, hindi. Tapos nung third year ako, alam ko, second year, third year, parang sinabi ko na wala na akong pake. Nagpagawa pa nga ako, nagpatahi pa kami ng mga damit nun, sa kamuning, may pinapatahian ng mama ko nun eh. Parang na-embrace ko siya. Then, nagkaroon ako ng chicken pox. Mm. Hindi ako masyado kumain. Then, magpa-fourth year high school kami na picture. Alam mo yung pag-graduate ka? Saka prom. Prom. Sabi ko lang, kailangan maganda ako sa picture namin. Doon lang nag-start doon. Hanggang I think, to be honest, I feel like I developed anorexia. Because I was weighing myself every day. Nobody caught it kasi hindi naman siya. Sa clinic ng school namin, bago mag-recess, nag-weigh ako every day. That's a red flag. I was hardly eating. Ilang beses ako muntik mahimatay sa school. Within one school year, sobrang laki ng pinayat ko. Talaga? Sobra. Uh -oh. But of course, glorified siya kasi, uy, pumapayat. Pero sa totoo lang, sino ba naman yung tinatanong, tumaba ba ako? Mataba ba ako? Mataba ba ako sa isang lumpia? Yung mga ganun yung mga tanong ko noon. Uh -oh. Hindi napansin ni Hindi. Daddy. I think everybody was also just happy that I was losing, losing weight. Me. That it wasn't alarming na 
baka hindi na siya kumakain. Okay It pa ba siya? It was in the wrong way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was doing a lot of shortcuts. Ah. I was not exercising. Sino ang support mo noon? I mean, going through all of that. You also struggled now in school, right? With grades and all. Yeah. Uh-oh. It really all all started from that time I was second grade. When Uh-oh. I look at my my cards, I did well in school up until that time. My grades just ah, plummeted. Kita. Formative years, the one to seven, is very important. So, right. and the trauma doesn't have to be a big kind of trauma. They said it's mm. not even just like like with me, perhaps with you know, parang malas teleserye. Pero not everybody has a malas teleserye life, but still right. operating from a trauma response. Right, right, right. So, natatandaan mo pa? Nagkaro ka ba ng like I have a plan? Well, aside from not eating. Pero may plano na ako sa buhay ko. Revenge life ang kasunod nito. May ganun ba? Hindi siya revenge life eh. Kasi parang ang nangyari, yeah, pumeta ko. Then I lost my mom. That's really when I started to have a little more direction in life. Oh. Kasi I lost her when I was 19. Was in complete shock. Kasi yung shock na tinatawag. So, Bakit? Because it was tragic the way I lost her. Uh-oh. And parang naisip ko, saan ako pupulutin? Saan ako papunta? I wasn't doing well in school. Uh, oh. Ano talaga ako? Like, hindi parang, ko alam kung saan ka pupulutin. Parang, Party ano? girl, lahat. I was, I didn't, I didn't have a direction. I didn't have a plan. I didn't have dreams even. Parang my dream lang then was to be some, to do, to create advertisements. I was taking advertising. Yun yung gusto ko lang. Um, hindi ko alam saan ako papunta. And then, I landed a pantene commercial. And then, from that, nagbukas na. Then, sabi ko, parang kailangan kung, sige, sakyan lang to. Ayoko pang mag-artista dati, ang arte ko. Sabi ko, sabi ko, tapos naisip ko, kailangan ako ng pera. Yun ang katotohanan. Ba't ako ang arte, di ba? Oh. Eh, hindi ko din kasi alam na ma- marunong pala ako umarte. So, sinubukan ko lang. Kung baga, ang naging ano ko nun, kung ano yung nagmagbukas, pupunta lang ako kung saan ako, dadaloy. At wow, from a tsunami, parang tsunami, parang perfect storm. Yes. Ang nangyari sa iyo noon, bago itong commercial, at nagbukas na ang lahat. Ano ang natutunan natin? Magdahan-dahan kayo kung sinong tinutukso ninyo, ha? At minamaliit kasi yung dating chubby noon, Ed Turner na ngayon, o oh, ba? Kahit ayaw mo gumanti, gumanti ka na rin, girl. Kasi yung mga nang-aapi sa'yo dati, nakikita ka na lang sa TV commercial and Pantene was the first one. Yes, grabe. Ayaw ko namang gumanti, ayaw ko nang galing Ay, na hindi ganun. natin iniisip yun. Uh, Nangyayari na lang talaga. Ipinagkakaloob na lang, ba? Uh, Pero naisip mo ba yun? Well, nung bata ako, mas may gano'n niya, ha, ngayon, gusto niyo ako, gusto niyo ako, maganda yung mga sinasabi. But they were not naman kasi that bad to me. Okay. Kaya talagang, o talagang ano lang ako, yung, tsaka ba't mo pa iisipin, ikaw na nga yung ano, di ba, yung gumanda. Oo. Oh. Ano, kasi ako na. <laughs> gumanda talaga. Gumanda ka na, yayaka mo na sila. O, oh, so mga panahon na yun, teka muna, so unti-unti ka na pumapayat, nasa pantin commercial ka na. So, Nag-soap na ako agad. Ah, Kali, so ah, ang bilis. Agad. Nag-launch yung Pantene commercial namin over the summer break. Hindi na ako pumasok ng, ano, ng, ng next school year. So, kagagawan mo lahat yan o yung tatay yeah. mo ay merong ano, Well, una ko na ni God. Okay. Tapos, okay, then I... Pantene was completely talagang God-given. Kasi wala namang power si daddy sa advertising world. Oh, ah. Tsaka ano yun, regional ano yun, commercial. Wow. Parang taga Singapore yung mga nag-approve. And that was the first time when I was filming in Malaysia, Singapore-based um, ad, yung agency, sabi nila, have you ever considered getting into acting? Gumanon sila. Tapos ako yung, because I think you'll do well. Sabi nung ano, nung, I remember, I forgot na her name. Tapos Siguro nakita yung mga mata mo na, na usap. Siguro, kasi ano yun eh, um, oh. ang tawag doon, yung, um, yung ini-interview ka, testimonial na commercial. So, chumichika lang ako. Ganon. And then, doon ko unang naisip na, baka may something kasi hindi na to taga-Pilipinas, taga-industry ni Daddy. So, nung lumabas yung commercial, sabi ni Daddy, oh anak, sabi ng mga taga-GMA, bakit hindi ka pa daw mag-artista? Gusto mo bang subukan? Sige, hesitant pa ako. Sige, try ko. Nag-ano ako, click. Ano lang, guesting. Tapos after nun, soap na agad. Kung mawawala ka with Derek Joel Lamangan. 
Yun na, nagtuloy-tuloy na. Wala akong workshop. Nothing. Oh, nothing. wow. The, on set. That's how I learned. So, teka muna. So, paano mo pinapaliwanag na hindi ka naman nag-aral umarte pero magaling ka umarte? Hindi ko sinabi agad na magaling ako. Basta umarte uh, na lang ako. Okay. Hinubog ako ng mga direktor natin. Uh, direct Joel Lamangan, direct um, Peke Galiaga, direct Yam Laranas, uh, Mary J. De Los Reyes. Yung mga unang direktor ko. Direct Inang. Um, direct Olive Lamasa. Uh -oh. Yan yung mga unang naging director. Oo, oh, swerte mo rin. Sobrang swerte ko. Uh -oh. um, kung hindi dahil sa kanila, I don't think I would be, you know, the artist right. that I am now. Wow. Pero, okay, so meron ka namang mga offers. Sa ganun, gumagawa ka ng pelikula, TV show, bakit nagbo-voice dubbing ka pa? Ah. Para sa isang Venezuelan telenovela. Oo. Oh, oh. so, naman ito. All my love ang title. Ang ano niya, Mistress Hermanas. Okay. So after nang kung mawawala ka, bago ng te amo, maging sino ka man, I think gusto nila na ipagdaba ko nun kasi they were gonna give me te amo, maging sino ka man. Okay. So yun lang. Ito sa short stint. Pero ang ano ko, ang coach ko nun si Miss Melly Tagasa. If ah, you remember her, um, si ano, Miss Tapia. Si Miss Tapia oh, ng Baltic and Company. Oh. Napaka-pasensyosa nun sa akin. Alam, mm -hmm. alam ko si Ating Meli talaga. Oh, oh, oh. Rest in peace, oh, Ating. Oh, oh. Yun. So, yung nagabay talaga ako ng mga talagang magaling sa kanilang craft. Dear, hindi ka magugutom. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede ka rin mag-voice dubber. Pwede. Ay, marami. Ang I mean? Ang dami mong kayang gawin. Marami Kasi ang galing ka rin, ka rin ba ng dad mong sumayaw? Hindi po kasing galing, pero mahilig po akong sumayaw. Oo, oh, nakasama ko siya sa isang concert, nandun siya sa harap ko. Sabi ko, galing din pala sumayaw nitong si Isa. Sumasayaw siya dun sa kanyang silya. Mahilig ako oh. sumayaw. Tsaka yan talaga ang first talent ko. It was the first thing that showed. Hindi lang siguro ako dinala ng, ng life doon. Pero that was the first and still the one that sparks the most joy. Really? Does mm -hmm. Ben know that? Of course. The entire household knows it. Sinasayawan mo siya, ha? Mm. Every day. <laughs> Mamaya nang pag-usapan ng love life, huwag kayong naiinip. Kailangan panoorin niyo ang buong interview, okay? So, GMA to ABS-CBN. So, paano ka naman tumalo ng ganun? During those days, mahigpit ang labanan. Mahigpit talaga. Iba. Mahirap kasi ito sa decision na I had I made my I just lost my dad. Um, siguro I was looking for a new environment. I was looking for a challenge sa totoo lang. I was looking for growth. Ah, uh, it ganun lang naman kasimple yon. Hindi sa hindi ko na mahal yung mga tao sa GMA. Hindi sa hindi ako grateful. Uh, as a matter of fact, to this day I'm very grateful. I know that for 10 years uh, they gave me a lot of opportunities and um, minahal nila ako, but it was time to move on. Mm. Kasi I wanted to work with new people. I wanted to work on new content, different things. It comes down to one final moment. Ang bigating pagtatapos sa inyong biggest loser journey. The biggest loser. Ah. Yeah, that was the only the Ay, difference. Ay, ko yun. That was a, the, the difference. I was a, going to do the biggest list. The biggest loser. Because to be honest, I actually want to pursue hosting as well. Right. Before I found out that um, I could act, the only thing that I could think of that I knew how to do was to have a conversation with somebody. But that's not where life brought me. I do hosting, yes. More on pageant, awards, ganyan. But something that I've always wanted to do was to pursue that and hone my craft in, in that space. Kasi syempre, ikaw yung role model ng biggest loser. Yes. Of weight, ha? Excuse me, of weight, not in life. Okay. Thank you for clarifying kasi words have power. Hindi ba? Biggest loser of weight. Kasi baka hindi nila maalala yun. Okay, tapos? At that time. So yung opportunity na yun, I really like that. And it was just time. Time to... Move forward. And then, nagtuloy-tuloy na. Nagtuloy-tuloy na. Hindi makakalimutan ng marami ang Milan. Mm. And I'm sure sa'yo rin, right? Very, okay. very memorable. Why? Bakit memorable ang Milan? Bambino! Mag-aanim na ba na? Ang likot-likot nga eh, kaya nga ang gulo-gulo dito eh. Oh, eh. Alice, you're just there, yeah? Si! Kunatimino! You know, Aspite! Asawa 
ako. Well, yan ang talagang sabi ko nga, ito yung ano eh, nag... Dito, ito yung rason kung bakit naging dramatic actress yung peg ng career ko. Kasi, yun yung first film ko, that's the one that um, uh, was directed by direct, uh, Olivia Lamasan. And dahil doon, maraming siguro nakapansin ng kapasidad ko bilang actress. Mm. Talaga namang, hindi ako pinabayaan ni Inang doon. Wow. She brought out the most dramatic parts of me. Totoo! Kasi syempre, wala nga akong workshop, workshop di ba? So, right. talaga... Anong favorite scene mo doon? Konti lang scene ko doon. Oh, anong no, favorite mo? Alam mo, yung... Yung ano kasi doon eh, parang hinahanap ako ni Piolo at ni Claudine. So hinahanap ako ni Claudine, pagpasok niya. Si Inang, tinago nila yung ashtray. Tapos hinahanap ko talaga yung ashtray. So, you know, ang galing din kasi ang it galing made it so real. Yeah. It was so real. And then the entire day, I was like, nakaganon lang ako. Say ko, ganito pala ang acting. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo kasi, sa pagkakaalam ko ha, Ako lang ang Pilipina dito sa building na ito. So drama. Paano Ayan ka naman napunta na? ng horror? Ang ganda mo namang ho- Goddess of Horror movies. Oh, siguro dahil ano, mahaba yung buhok ko. Ano ba? Ay, Maraming mahaba ang buhok. Pero oh. doon ako din nalang ng Panginoon. At oh. uh, swerte ko din. So, 2004 din, nag- we filmed for Sigaw. That had a remake eventually. So, sinwerte din ako doon. Yam Laranas naman ang director namin. Regal Films din ito. Okay, Sigaw. <laughs> Napunta ka talaga sa ano? Sa horror. Horror. Oh, oh. oh you're even doing Shake, Rattle and Roll? Now, I'm doing Shake, Rattle and Roll Extreme, which is the 16th Shake, Rattle and Roll. How many times nag-Shake, Rattle and Roll This is ka? my second. A ah, second uh, mo ito. So, I was in 8 and then now 16. And and your role here, is it, ano, mangkukulang ka ba? De, de, de. Bampira? Ano ka de, dyan? De, de, de. Nanay. Ah, nanay. Na ipaglalaban yung mga anak niya against this monster ah. called Gary the Goat. What? <laughs> From a show. Yeah, so, iba na. Iba din yung ano, pre. Okay. It's directed by Richard Somes. We have to watch it. Kailangan panoorin. Ayan, still showing yan. Uh, a shake, rattle, and roll. Kakapalabas lang. Fresh na fresh. Panoorin niyo po. Correct. So, ilang horror movies ang ginawa mo at nabansagan kang goddess of horror movies? <laughs> Hindi ko alam. Napakarami na yata. Hindi ko na din binibilang. Totoo. Siguro, ano, pinakaswerte ko talaga sa horror films. Yung sigaw talaga mm-hmm. at saka yung remake niya na The Echo, which we shot in Canada. Ito na ba yung Hollywood movie? Yes. Ah, napunta ka na talaga sa Hollywood? Well, technically, I shot in Canada, oh, oh. but it was a Hollywood production. But you're a SAG member. I was eligible, oh. pero hindi ko siya kinuha yung SAG card ko. Sayang maging friend sana kami ni Fran Drescher. Correct, correct. <laughs> Bakit? Kasi, Bata pa ako noon, Miss Corina. Tapos, I think I was 26, 27. Hindi ko nakita na, sa, pag kinuha ko to, anong project gagawin ko? Uh-oh. Parang, para saan? Eh, nandito ako noon, teleserye, nining-nini ako. Wala akong lakas ng loob noon na, kumbaga, i-pursue ba? Kailangan kasi career. agresibo ka yes. as yung manager mo, Oo. gagapangin mo yun. Hindi tayo, and we didn't live in a world that was open. At that time? At that time. If, now, you tell me, I land that, I'm gonna go there. Right. I'm ready. Hoy, I'm hindi very pa ready. Lahat. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pwede, pwede pa. I'm not saying huli ang lahat. Oh, I'm oh. very ready. Oh, yeah. So it's just a matter of, you know, life bringing me there. Correct, correct. Oh, ito na. So, naging superstar na. At hindi lang yon. Excuse me sa mga tumutukso dati. Naging FHM Philippines, 100 sexiest women in the world. Girl. Oh, oh, oh. Paano ba, pa, paano ba ma-eligible dyan? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> parang fan base lang naman yun na bumuboto niya. Totoo ba? I think to me, more fun that I was on the cover of Esquire. Because ah. I never was on the cover of FHM. Okay. It was more when I, when I was on the cover of Esquire, I was like, Oh, ba to? dami namang Photoshop. Tawa pa rin ako na tawa. Hindi mo ako to. Sabi ko. Pero ako pa rin yun, di ba? Correct, so, correct. I think it was more of, ano lang, yung hindi mo talaga alam saan ka dadali ng buhay. Right. So, okay. 
At this point in your life, sunod-sunod na ang mga victories mo, right? Marami ding mga challenges at saka failures. Oo. Ah, may kasama pa rin ganun. Of course. Yung mga course. roles that you don't get. Of course. Or uh, life, di ba? That things that don't pan out the way you wanted to. Right. Like, that career being SAG eligible and I I wanted to, to be ah, honest. Ah, ininda mo rin yun. Oh, hindi ko siya ininda, pero you know, it was a dream. I, it, it's a dream, di ba? Oh, hindi pa naman tapos ang buhay, mahaba pa ang buhay, right? But what I mean is like, oh, it was there, pero hindi pa ngayon yung panahon. So, ganun lang talaga ang mm-hmm. buhay, di ba? Pero iniisip ko, with all of those victories, by this time, uh, na-process mo na ba yung childhood mo? I'm still processing a lot of things, and I think um, motherhood is bringing a lot of it to the surface. Um, kasi siyempre, di ba, parang mas nami-mirror siguro yung mga posibleng nangyari noon at mas naiintindihan ko siya. So, I just I really believe in the saying that with every breakdown, it's an opportunity for a breakthrough. Right. Uh-oh. So, uh, it takes work, but I'm, I think, Buti na lang din, I have a partner that, you know, understands these things. I'm older now, I'm more mature. Um, nagkakamali pa rin ako, pero mas handa na ako at open na matuto mula sa mga pagkakamali ko. At mas intindihin ang mga naging pagkakamali ng iba or mga nagiging pagkakamali ng iba. In the high hopes na maintindihan din ang mga pagkakamali ko. Oh, ayan. So, ang susunod daming tanong, paano ba makabingwit ng ganong klaseng lalaki na iintindihin ka? Uh-huh. <laughs> di ba? Di ko alam yung, yung lambat. Gumano sa mo kanina lambat. Lambat, di ba? At hindi lang niya ginalingan, ang kanyang pagiging actress. Ayan, ginalingan din sa love life. Wow! Okay, kwento mo na si Ben. Saan mo ba siya nakilala? Esquire. When, ah. the, when the magazine was launched, they asked me um, to be one of the hosts. So, he was a guest. Nakita niya ako sa stage. Nagtanong-tanong siya. Kaka-break lang namin ng ex ko. So, mainit na mainit pang balita na... Yung una nga tinanungan niya, sabi, may boyfriend ako. Yung pangalawa na sabi, hindi, parang bagong break. So, si Isabel Daza, basta, I just got tapped on the shoulder. Paglingon ko, ando na siya, tapos sabi ni Bel Daza, Ben, Isa, Isa, Ben, single, single. Tapos sobrang hiya ko kasi nakita ko siya from across the room. Tapos parang nag-meet yung eyes namin. So parang feeling ko, ah, kaya lang ito gusto makilala. Siguro nakita niya nakatingin ako sa kanya. Okay. Wala naman akong kumpiyansa sa sarili ko. Kasi ang guwapo, sabi ko, guwapo nito. So may katapay huwag guwapo, yung pala kapatid niya. Oo. Oh, oh. um, yun, he was nice. Oh. And yun na, ito na, nag-start yun. Nag-start na date-date. Mm-hmm. Saka naman na dinate. Our Kaya first date was People's Palace. Ah, oh, wow. Oh, How wow. wholesome. He's half British, half oh. Filipino. Uh, he speaks Tagalog? Hardly. Ah, totoo. Nakakaloka. Kaya oh. nga... Wow! Paano ba yung... Paano yung... Liga, ligawan? <laughs> Nosebleed? Nosebleed. Tsaka lalo na yung accent. Hindi oh, oh. ko talaga siya maintindihan masyado nun yung... What did you say? Sorry? What? Hindi ko... Ah, ano doon sabi nito? So ano, love at first sight? Pinahirapan mo ba siya? How did you know na siya na talaga yung papakasalan mo? Nabang, iba-ibang question oh, yan. Oo, di ba? Ewan ko, yun, I, don't, I think it was of course attraction from first sight. I mean, I'm not blind, right? Uh-oh. My husband is gorgeous. Uh-oh. I mean, I... Pogi! Guwapo. Matangkad, guwapo. And he speaks well, he's smart. Mabait. And fit. Oy, mabait. He's very mm-hmm. mabait. He's soft-spoken. funny. Mm-hmm. He's funny, soft-spoken. Serious lang. Medyo masyado lang serious talaga for me. Parang yun lang yung siguro sabi ko. Hindi, ay yun lang, hindi siya romantic na in, sweet siya. Hindi siya yung grand gestures. Eh syempre dahil siguro artista ako, lagi kong hinahanap yung mga grand gestures. I think when he came along, I was still torn between, you know, my feelings for my ex-boyfriend. And then my dad was also in the hospital. So I was kind of all over the place. But then my dad passed away, and then sabi ko na pakabait ni Ben, and it took years pa before like we finally decided. And I told myself, siya na talaga yung, I think siya na nga. 
Oo, oh, gano'n, gano'n. Parang siya na nga. Hindi ako sure, pero parang siya. Sino nag-propose? Siyempre siya. Ah, siya? Oo, oh, kumisa na. Aminado ang mga babae na sila. And I don't mind, pero siya dapat. Oo, oh, <laughs> pero ako, naman. Bo. Hindi, pero oh. I think it was ano naman na, parang I expressed that I'm ready. Because for the longest time, I would say, I'm not ready. Oh. Ganun ako eh. Ayoko kasing mapahiya ka din. Baka mamaya mag-propose ka, sabihin ko, hindi, no. Eh, paano mo malalaman? Paano ba malalaman ng isang babae na ready na siyang magpakasal? Eh, nasa, I think nasa sa'yo yan, di ba? I think it's a very personal journey. In For your me, case? In my case, I think, It was some time pressure because all my friends got married before me. I was 36 when I got married. Good for you. Yes. Ay, sinasabi ko yun sa lahat ng mga career talk. The best age to get married is way beyond 30. I I agree. Oh, oh. I Alam agree. mo na yung sarili mo. Yes. You're already contributing to the family and saying thanks to your parents. You have a career path, you know. Ganun. Yeah, I was, I parang dami ko nang na-achieve din sa buhay ko on, oh. my, on my own. And so parang when we got together, it was, um, you know, parang oras na, oras na din. We got married, I was 36, and then we had a child, I was 40. Oh, oh nga. 41 na ako as we speak. Oh, oh, no. Grabe, ang bilis ng panahon. Oh. Ang bilis ng panahon, mukha ka 26, girl. Mm, okay, tayo. Why not? Thanks too. 28 <laughs> naman ako, grabe ka. Ikaw okay, 26. Fine. Fine. <laughs> okay. So, sabi nila, happy happy wife, ha- happy life. Is that your formula? Ano for? Alam mo, tumakikita ko sila, parang parati silang in love. Pero ito rin, napansin ko, pagka magkasama sila ni Ben, parang si Isa ang nasusunod <laughs> sa bahay. Parang lang. Hindi ano? lang para. Totoo. Totoo naman. Oo oh, naman. Sabi din nun lagi, takot siya sa akin. Sabi <laughs> niya sinasabi yun, marry a woman that you're afraid of. That's his advice? You know, I mean, say, very not afraid to a fault. Oh, right, yung right, parang uh-oh. may konti kang, pag sinabi niyang, oh, ba, oh. nasaan ka? Yung umiikot siguro yung put niya ng konti, oh, di ba? Correct, correct, Pero, um, si Ben kasi, when he got into this relationship, he was so sure of himself mm. and who he is. Versus me, yung, I was still all over the place. and dami ko pang unhealed parts. Um, so, yun ang swerte ko sa buhay. Yung katuwang ko sa buhay. Hindi man siya nga si Mr. Grant or whatever. Uh, I think the gift that he's really giving me as my partner in life is he's there to see me through the very ugly and painful parts of healing and growth and evolution. Mm. Which I think is a gift. Ayun. Okay. So- Patiently, he will listen. He will understand. Mm. And ganun din naman ako sa kanya kasi syempre may mga pinagdadaanan din siya. And I think yun pala talaga ang ano no, marriage. Wala namang perfect as you said of kanina course, pag yeah. nakikita mo kami parang laging in love. Just ko pag nagkainisan din naman, mostly ako lang naman. Talo ko doon eh kasi parang hindi naman siya na wala siya hindi siya natitinag. Oo. Oh, Nakakainis din. He's very din. temperate. Oo, oh, oh, nandito lang oh, siya oh, lagi. Oh, oh. Ikaw pendulum ka oh, ganun. Oo. Oh. <laughs> eh ako gusto ko twish, 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 twish. Uh-oh. So I'm so sweet, but I can also be so rah, dragon. Uh-oh. Yeah. So he he accepts me, naman, for all that I am. Also, kailan niyo dinisisyon na oh, dapat na tayong magbaby. Hindi ka agad, right? Hindi. Even this was not planned. Oh, oh, nga. Was not... Okay. I wanted to work, 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 work. Tapos sabi ko pa, you know what? Maybe we'll freeze more um, embryos, ganyan. Kasi we 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 had around yes. before. Sabi ko, cause work's coming in and the work is so good. It's really good, sabi kong ganun. Sabi ko, and I want to do this, do that, do this, go to there. Da, 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 ambush, buntis. Ha, Grabe! Na buntis. Sabi ko talaga, napaganan talaga ako din eh. Siyempre, nauna nabigla ka, diba? Nung, oh yan, we're almost straight away, sabi ko, mm. wow, God's plans. Mm. God's plans, sabi ko. Okay. I will not resist. I will embrace it. And okay. wow, what a gift. So, by the time na biglang, ayun na, meron ka ng baby sa tiyan mo bigla after not even trying and freezing embryos, 
Uh, okay na kayo ni Ben. You think you're in a good place na naliligo na talaga siya bago matulog. <laughs> okay na. Sumunod na siya sa'yo doon. Well, to be honest, naliligo na talaga siya ngayon bago matulog. Kasi ano requirement mo yun bago ka nag-yes, hmm. diba? Ang tanong, ilang beses siya lo naligo sa isang araw? Ay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yun lang, bago matulog. <laughs> yun lang. Um, I love Uh-oh. you, Ben! Ay! Na- nabuking, ben. nabuking. No, he showers. He showers now. Um, <laughs> he showers now. Oh. Yeah, he has to. Okay. Um, Pero you were in a good place enough to have a child, di ba? You know, all my fears before, kasi yun lang naman yun eh, takot lang siya. Hindi naman siya totoo. Mm. So, and I believe God will see you through everything. Sabi ko nga, kasi even with like, during pregnancy, I had this parasite called toxoplasmosis, which is so rare. We didn't even have treatments here. We had to do everything in the UK. Parang, Sabi ko, alam mo, binigay na ni God tong baby sa akin eh. He will see me through this. Okay. And true enough, mm. I now, we now have a healthy baby. And di ba, thank you Lord. Di ba, where we are, there is no such thing as a perfect marriage. Because ang thoughts ko dun, there's no perfect individual. So you're two individuals just trying to make this work. Mm-mm. Doing your best Mm-mm. every day. But now we have, a, I think, a very clear purpose. Um that we share which is our child oh, you know oh. so so she really well makes us sabi ko nga, better individually and as a couple she has really made us stronger kumusta na ngayon si baby oh my god she's so good kanina ako ako malis swim class um, at 10 months she started at five or six months really? six months yeah oh wow yeah. okay swim class Nagba backstroke na siya. Hindi pa naman. Matagal eh pag ganyan. I think ang ano ko lang doon is maging comfortable siya sa tubig. Oh, kasi ma- mahilig kaming mag-swimming, oh. mahilig kami sa beach. Ah, uh, so syempre ayoko ng mat- gusto ko pag dinala namin siya doon, comfortable. What kind of mom do you think you'll be? Are you in love with your child? Very much so. <laughs> Parang this is the best kind of love pala. Sobra. And sabi ni, ni Dimples Romano, we were at the shoot yesterday. Yun din. Yun din daw ang pinakamasakit. Oo. Yung totoo. I can imagine. Kasi pinakamasarap, di ba? Oo. Yun din ang magiging pag nasaktang ka. Masakit din. And I'm sure. I can I can imagine it. But right now, i-enjoy ko na Oo. muna. Oo. Alam mo ba, minsan lang ako inirapan ni Pilar na iyak ako. Oh my God. <laughs> talaga. Bad mood siya. Inirapan ako. Sabi ko. Paano, paano, paano? Tapos talagang masaktan Tapos, ko. Gumaganong-ganon na ako siya. Oh. <laughs> Sabi nung yaya, say sorry to your mama, say sorry to your mama. Sorry mama. Oh, lalo ko umiyak. Biro mo, hindi ba ganun ang epekto ng bata diba? sa nanay? Diba? Yung plans ni Ben and plans mo for the child, nagmamerge ba? Or wala pa kayong mga plano talaga for the child? Wait, ang hirap din. Pag iba ang upbringing nito uh-uh. at upbringing mo, so paano yun? Parang medyo okay naman. Ah, uh-huh. okay. Nagkakasundo naman kami sa mga gusto namin gawin. At uh, I, I let him also take the lead because I can't remember much from my childhood. But he, he had a pretty good childhood. Ah. His parents, God bless them. Sabi ko nga, you did a lot of good things in how you raised your children. You know, wala namang perfect, diba? Pero... Right. They, it's parang they had a good, good childhood. How nice, full circle, di ba? Yes. At forty something, ano pa siya? Nanay pa siya ni Darna. <laughs> Nagtangga ka na naman. Grabe na naman. Hindi na kita ko kasi yung costume niyo ni baby. Hindi ano yun? For Darna yung sa akin. For Darna yung sa yon. Yung sa kanya for Halloween. For Halloween. I Uh-oh. know, but pero uh, mo you still got to play. Darna. Darna, just before I got pregnant. Oh, oh, wow. What a thought. Like, oh, oh, yeah. iconic, iconic characters. Darna! Pero ito na nga, ang buhay niya ngayon, marami pang mga trivia. At marami pa kayong malalaman tungkol sa, alam mo na, buhay niya bilang sarili niyang babae, ginagawa niya para sa ibang babae, at talagang uh, partner naman. 
ng isang lalaki. And sabi nga nila, food makes everything better. Para sa Pilipino lang kaya? No, I think it's universal. I think it's universal. And I think it's specific to Isa and me. <laughs> we love to eat. Bakit I know. ba? Ito muna, hindi ba? Fit na fit talaga. Fit, fitness conscious kayo ni Ben. Yes, yes. So, paano yun? Wellness. I'd say wellness. Wellness. Yeah. So, pwede naman kumain. Oo. At saka, ano kami, we know when to indulge. At saka, hindi naman kami sobrang strict. Lalo na si Ben. Sabi mo nga, di ba, nandito lang siya lagi. Ganon din siya pagdating sa pagkain. Dito lang siya lagi. Ang fit-fit ni Ben, wala siyang chan. Oo. Oo, di ba? Nakakainis. Nakakainis. Yung, nagde-dessert yun. Gabi-gabi pa. Pero konti lang talaga siya. Hindi siya yung ang dami kumain ng oh, dessert. Correct, Pero correct. yung sabi ko, bakit ikaw pag-isip may ups ka pa rin? Correct. Oh, Ganon talaga sila. Ganon talaga. Buhay. Pero food made their marriage stronger. That's hindi right. ba? So, healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. and bonding moment talaga ang eating, di ba? Yes. Paano nang niya? Naku, naalala ko pa yung post mo. Nung nagka-COVID ka. Ay, oh, oh, naman. Very early on, ikaw ay naging biktima. What happened? I was patient 878. Um, and tama ka, tanong mo kasi is, healthy lifestyle, paano nangyari yes. yun, di ba? Oh. At my age. Actually, yes. Healthy, I was working out, I was eating right, yes. But I would also take it to the extremes. Because kahit pagod ako, mag-workout ako. Kahit puyat ako, mag-workout ako. Lagi ako nakadiet dahil sa industriya. Lagi akong conscious. Tapos dahil hindi ako nag-lose ng weight, I'll fast, I'll do all these things. Ang hindi ko naintindihan, habang tumatanda, dapat pala mas natutulog ako. Yes. At ang industriya na kinabibilangan ko, wala talagang oras. Kaya napaka-passionate ko about the Eddie Garcia Bill. I see. Because oh. we really need humane hours. Rest. Oh, oh. We all need it. Everybody right. needs it. Um, so, kaya ako badly hit. Mm. My immune system was really bad. Mm -hmm. Like, it was low. It was suffering. Parang hindi ka na talaga makahinga noon. Oo, oh, oh, grabe. At hindi na, buntik ako ma-ICU. Oh, oh. Buti na lang. Parang yung family friend namin, yung doctor, said, take her to my unit na sa alagaan namin doon. Um, And so, some people actually died. A lot. Diba? A lot. So, And, na, pumasok ba sa isip mo yun, when? Nandun? Oh. Hindi ko talaga, oo. Oh, oh. To the point, I didn't really know which way it was going to go. I think the good honest, uh, interview here would be with Ben. Kasi siya yung talagang aware. Kasi ako, I was hardly there. I was there but I was not there. Mm. Yung nilalabanan ko lang talaga everyday na gumising. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, Tinatry ko makatulog kasi I had trouble sleeping as well. Um, It was just that to Nakakatakot fight. Nakakatakot matulog, baka bigla kang tumigil huminga. Nang hindi mo alam. The fact lang na may oxygen ka dyan, di ba? Parang inisip ko, ano to? Dito na ba magtatapos yung buhay ko? Mm -mm. Doon, kay, doon mm -mm. talaga. Actually, around that time, I thought about having a child na. Na, na napaisip ako, nun, lalo na yung mga kaibigan ko, nung nagpapadala ng mga video ng mga anak nila na, Tita Isa, we prayed for you today. Yung mga ang cute-cute talaga oh. yung sabi ko, Parang dapat ba at may ganito na ako, yung correct, ganun. Correct, correct, correct. Ah, so, meron ding binunga na something, right? Oo. Oh, oh. I mean, for me, the first is the awareness. And I think, to be honest, feeling ko, yun yung nakatulong din bakit kami nagkaroon ng anak ni Ben. Kasi mas well-rested na ako. That was 2020. By, last, by 2022, Katulog-tulog ako from 2020 to 2022 kumpara sa tulog ko nung 18 years ako dito sa industriya. 21 years na ako ngayon in total. Wow! 21 yeah. years! Pero how far we've come! Thank you, Lord. Ang layo na nang nilipad ni Darna! <laughs> Sayang ano, sana talaga naabutan ng dad mo. Diba? Your motherhood at being lolo. Ay, he would have loved this. Diba? Grabe! Oo. Oh, oh. Pero ano ang ikukwento mo? Uh, to your daughter about your dad? Ako? Lahat ba? Ah! <laughs> depende sa edad. Oo, oh, depende uh -oh. ko anong edad na siya. Pero kailangan uh -oh. malaman niya lahat yun. Para yes. malaman niya yung tao. I don't believe in that. You believe in that. Uh -oh. yeah. Hindi naman kailangan lahat-lahat. But I think they need to know that we're human. Uh -uh. Because otherwise, if we, I, I personally feel that If we paint a picture na parang life was so perfect and like this, baka they will want that for themselves. And when life happens, and the reality is there's no such thing as a perfect life, 
they might feel na they've disappointed you or they're a failure. Oh. Uh, siguro yun yung gift ng mga magulang ko sa akin. Dahil aware na aware ako na hindi sila perfect human beings. Right. So, nung mga panahon na nagkakamali ako at patuloy ako nagkakamali, iisip ko na lang na ganun talaga pala ang pagiging tao. 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 So, oh. yun ang magandang uh, lesson na ibinigay na sa akin at gift. So, what would I tell my daughter about my father? <laughs> that he was the warmest person ever. Mm. Um, and he was excellent in whatever, in, in what he did. Ito kasi, Miss Corina, si Dea, marami siyang lito kalsado in her. Hindi ko talaga maintindihan. Nafe-feel ko talaga yung energy ng tatay ko. Minsan oh. yung... Nakikita ko nga tatay mo sa kanya eh. Yun nga, sabi oh. ko, is it because she's quite round and a little bald pa? Pero <laughs> hindi, it goes beyond that. Kasi anti-side-side oh. din naman niya. Oh. 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 Meron siyang... Meron siyang mga ganun na... Oh. Oh. Lito kalsado. Uh -oh. Is it because par and she's quite an extrovert? I think she's very comfortable. Like if we put her here uh -oh. now with these lights, uh -oh. she will be ha -ha, super enjoying gigging. Oh, so, sabi ko, there's a lot of the performing, I guess, side extrovertedness sa kanya. Uh -oh. Na I know I got from my father. Uh -oh. So she got from me. So galing kay daddy yan. May first word na ba, mama or papa? She babbles eh. Nag, ano na, there was a time na gano'n siya, meh, 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 meh. Minsan, aw, aw. Ah, so, hindi pa wala pa, pa hindi pa, hindi pa. <laughs> wala pa talagang oh. clear na that's the first word. Right, word. right, oh. right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Because so much happening and all good things. Thank you. Right? Not all good, but mm. it's the good things that are the headline. Yes. Always, in our lives. Uh -huh. Tulad ng... Uh, headline na ito. If you want to eat well, go to the app Bookie. Ah, mahaling ka ni Ben Wintel talaga Naku, dito. Ako, makukuha mo yan ha. Pwede nyo ilagay sa website nyo yan. Yes. Oh, diba? Thank you so much. Kaya natin nahanap itong nonyas kasi nagtingin-tingin kami ah, sa app na yan. Ah, ano yung ba naisip yung app na yan? Yung how to find the best restaurant, etc. etc. Ah, actually, dahil sa akin. Oh. <laughs> Ay, kasi mahilig kumain. Mahilig kami kumain. So, dati, di ba? Dati, Gusto ko kasi, nagpapareserve ng table. Ayaw ko kasi yung hungry ka. Di ba yung hungry? Tapos magiging oh, dragon. Tapos mag fast tapos, food ka lang. Hindi, hindi, hindi lang yun. Yung pagdating mo sa restaurant, wala kang table. Yes. O kaya yung gusto mong hinahanap, wala doon. So, sabi ko dati noon, alam mo ba kung ilan ang number ng mga restaurant ang nakasave sa phone ko? Sabi ko, ang hirap kaya humanap ng number. This was 2014. Right. Sabi niya, what if there was an app that, you know, was just initially a directory lang talaga. Uh -huh. So, na from that, naging food discovery platform siya. Then now we have deals. And um, we're, he's even providing a lot of restaurants with digital ordering system for, you know, kasi ngayon, the world has evolved, di ba? So, yeah. So, Buki has, has really been at the, I guess, center of our relationship. Now. Food oh, talaga. Food talaga. Mm -hmm. So, you have new discoveries and then uh, you add them to your list, ganun ba yun? Ganyan, we make uh, top 10 lists. Sabi ko nga, can I do more top 10 lists? Kasi uh -oh. if you would like to give us a top 10 list of Corina Sanchez, Basta libre yung kakainan ko ha. In Cubao. In Cubao, wow! Ganda yun, yeah. di ba? Oh, ang dami sa Cubao. Oh. Wow, Ay, Cubao. Masigit-singit doon. Okay, gawin natin uh -oh. yan. Gawin natin yan. Ang dami nangyari sa life ni Isa. Actually, hindi ko pa nga nakalikot lahat-lahat yun. <laughs> but I don't think she'll like it. Pag kinalikot ko pa lahat-lahat, some things are left for them to know. Oh, yeah, diba? better left. Oh, oh. So Pero grabe yung buhay mo, ha? Meron ka bang headline ng buhay mo? What's your headline right now? Your life realization. Just to wrap it up before we devour. Gutom na kami, ha? So tapusin na natin ito. Ano ang life realization mo? Realization? Pwede bang moto lang in Oh, sige. Laban Para, lang. Laban lang. Baka yung slam book. Okay, motto in life. <laughs> laban lang. Parang Ay, darnash. Lang, eh. Laban lang ng laban. Ay, darnash. Okay. Diba? okay. Parang hindi naman siya laban ng pakikipagdigmaan. Hindi. Laban lang. Kung whatever life throws your way, just keep going. Okay, right. That's it. Parang, And that's what you did. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Congratulations.
Congrats, girl. Thank you. Thank Congrats. you. Oh, cheers Thank tayo you. Dyan. Cheers to that. And, Ooh, nasa ang bagoong? Pahingi ng bagoong. Andito ang bagoong. Nasa plato. Ayun na. Ayan na. Ayan na. Ayan na. Uh, kayo mamaya na, ha? Kami muna. Kasi on cam pa kami. Enjoy. Ay, parang Thank masarap you. yung ano. Parang masarap yung... Kare-kare. Kare-kare nila. Ito naman. Kaila Rico, masarap ang pagkain na. <laughs> Oo, no? Hindi ba? Naiimbita ka rin doon, ha? Oh, madalas. Ay, yeah, I see your pictures. Hindi, hindi ba tayo nagkakasabay? Oo, oh, hindi ba tayo nagkakasabay dyan? Sabi niyo ko. He was in my house last night. Okay. okay. Exit na tayo. Bye! Hello, hello.